been somewhat binging on the second shooter uh, story, and uh, this is the last video I'm going to drop today, uh, so don't don't worry. I'm not uh, not going to bug you with any more unless something something new and interesting comes up. But I do want to say a little bit more about in my assessment of sorry I had to check on his name because I'd forgotten it Ryan Routh and I'm I'm pronouncing it Routh although I've heard some people pronounce it Ruth just because it's spelled R-O-U-T-H and Routh seems like the most likely pronunciation but I will correct myself if if uh if it comes out that, it, that it's pronounced Ruth. Um, but thanks to the Osprey for sending me a, a uh, link to a video that Jack Posobiec has now posted on X, in which uh, uh, Ryan Routh is featured. It's, it's uh, a something that's that's that was posted by the Azov Battalion, um, which is, of course, the famously or infamously the neo-Nazi affiliated military outfit that uh, fights for the Kiev regime. That's just factual. Again, I'm 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 sticking to facts here. Uh, all everything that I've said is factual so far and everything I'm going to say from here on in is also factual so if you don't like that I said that it that uh, he was in a video which featured Azov Battalion and if you don't like that I said Azov Battalion is neo-nazi uh tough because both of those are true right it's not Russian propaganda it's it's factual. So, so this guy, I mean, what, what's, what has emerged, uh, and it, it's, it's interesting how the mainstream media has just opened up about it. Uh, I, I spoke about this in the earlier video. The, this, this guy was, uh, was a recruiter for Ukraine he actually spent time in Kiev. He flew out there. There are pictures of him in a suit and tie in Washington, D.C., um, where he's, he's you know, active, you know, very, very, very busily, very, uh, uh, very enthusiastically active in attempting to recruit people from all over the world, either to go to Ukraine to fight for the Kiev regime or to, at the very least, contribute money to the Ukraine war effort. And it's the war effort. It's not human for humanitarian aid. Um, it's for Ukraine to fight the war against Russia. I mean, there are there have already been getting billions of dollars worth of, of aid. That's factual too. You may not like it, but it's not Russian propaganda to say it. It's, it's the facts. So, so he's in this video, uh, for Azov Battalion. He's not, he's not prominently featured, but he's a part of it. He's, he's shown responding emotionally to the speaker who is, who is, a uh, probably a neo-Nazi. I mean, the whole, the battalion has never repented for having a, a uh, neo-Nazi outlook uh, and philosophy and ideology. And I know that some people might not like me saying that, <laughs> both, both uh, from the left and the right, but it's just, it's true. That's what Azov is. So... So he's in that the video for uh, for Azov Battalion. He's in uh, he he's not just a guy 
he's not just some guy who's enthusiastic about the Ukraine war effort, or, or who's enthusiastically behind Ukraine. Um, I mean, I think he, he is that. I, I, I don't doubt his commitment to the cause, but he's obviously a guy who has connections. Connections to, shall we say, the military-industrial complex. Because, the reason why I say that, is because he he's he's flying back and forth to Ukraine. He's flying into Kiev. I assume he he flew there. Uh, he he talk, talks about traveling the world. He talks about re- attempting to recruit Afghani uh, fighters for uh, the Kiev regime. Um, you know, on whose dime is he traveling the world? On whose dime is he? Flying to Ukraine and going visiting Washington D.C. when when he lives in Hawaii, I mean that's that's even more expenses. Um, now maybe he's independently wealthy, and this is all on his own dime. Um, I just know. I I mean I'll, I'll 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 give the benefit of the doubt and say that's a possibility, but I just know that some guy is not, you know, no matter how dedicated he is to the cause, is not going to be given that kind of position um, as an official recruiter of foreign soldiers for for the Kiev regime in Ukraine. Uh, I mean, there he's he's profiled in uh in newsweek New, newsweek romania uh w- was the I, I guess the the branch of newsweek magazine that that uh published this interview uh with him um in 2022 and newsweek has come forward with with this fact and the new york times also profiled him in something that was written i think last year and they also came forward and said, "Yeah, he was one of the one of the guys we were profiling." Um, and the mainstream media, as you know, is very pro war in Ukraine, pro supporting the Kiev regime, pro Zelensky, as is the political establishment. This is this is like a sacred cow to the political establishment because. Not not because they care. I'm not no. So this is the only time I'm expressing an opinion here. I don't think it's because they really truly care about people in Ukraine. I think it's because they want to fight a proxy war against Russia, and uh, so NATO is an or, or Ukraine is a NATO proxy. All right, that's my opinion. Um, but. Everything else I'm saying is completely factual, uh, according to documented sources. So don't come at me uh, saying misinformation. I'm just saying that. Um, and and what what I'm questioning is who uh, helped to put this guy in this position. Uh, Because, uh, again, if you or I or any other ordinary person were just enthusiastic about Ukraine and, and, you know, wanted to wanted to do whatever we could for Ukraine uh, or or for the Kiev regime, I should say, because not not, uh, everyone in Ukraine feels the same way. Uh, there are there are people in Ukraine who who want to be independent and who want to be allied with with Russia. I guess to be fair, they would call themselves Russian rather than Ukrainian. But I don't want to get too deep into that whole morass. Um, but uh, uh, suffice to say.
the ordinary person wouldn't, uh, I mean, if, if I wanted to go fight on either side in the Ukraine war, I'd have, have to, or if I wanted to go to Kiev or, or even to Moscow <clears throat> to, uh, to help out with recruitment, uh, to fight in that war um, on either side, you know, first of all, I, I don't have that, that kind of spare change, uh, to, to pay for, to pay for the flight, to pay for room and board, uh, uh, uh and, and again, he talks about traveling across, over the world. So, uh, where, who's kicking him that dough? Unless he's independently wealthy. But even the independently wealthy ordinary citizen is not going to be, uh, I, I would think it's, you know, you don't just become, uh, a recruiter for, uh, for Ukraine without, uh, having some connections. And this guy was clearly connected. All right. Now, is that a smoking gun? Does that prove that uh, he uh, was put up to this uh, this attempted deed by the military industrial complex? Admittedly, it's not a smoking gun, but it is pretty damn suspicious. And if you don't look at this and think this is sus, then again, I don't know what to say to you. I just don't know what to say. Um, this guy clearly had connections. That's all. Um, 